common model of multiplication that we use is the use of an array. An array is an arrangement of columns and rows that create smaller squares. The total smaller squares would give us the product to our answers. An array is constructed using the two factors in the problem, eight being the number of columns and six being the number of rows to comprise the array. To figure out the total number of squares, in the early stages, students might simply count by ones to figure out the total number of smaller squares. Eventually, we would hope that the students would move into more efficient strategies of skip counting. The students are very familiar with skip counting by twos, fives, and tens, and so we would hope that they would be able to decompose or break apart this array to be able to use those efficient, quick skip counting methods. So for this problem, we have a six here, which makes which we would be able to use the skip counting by fives very easily if we were to decompose the array at this point. This gives us five rows with eight in each row, and we're left with one single row down here. So then to solve this, we would, to solve this, this top array, we would then count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 for the partial product of the top. And then down below, we have one row with eight in it, which means we have eight total squares. And then we simply add these two partial products together for a total of 48, which gives us the total number of squares for our array, which is the product to our problem. And as always, we ask that the students label their answers. So we have the answer of 48, and we would want them to write 48 cans of soda. <laughs>